What's up my friends? Welcome back to a brand new video. With this one we're going to be talking about my top five favorite army movies of all time. Now, these movies aren't like necessarily, you know, in my top five because they're, you know, amazing cinematic designs and amazing stories and, you know, impressive acting or whatever. They're really just on my list because these are army related movies that I enjoy watching, ones that I don't mind watching multiple times. So some of you may have some movies in the back of your mind that are your favorites and mine might be different from yours and that's okay. For me to really, really like an army movie, it has to be entertaining. It has to somehow mean something to me, whether that's from nostalgia, from uh, maybe just some other portions of it, I don't know. But you know, there's certain things that kind of really drive me to these top five movies other than, you know, whether they're amazingly filmed or they have these amazing actors inside of them. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start from number five and work our way up to the number one top favorite army movie for me of all time. And uh, we're starting off with probably one that people are gonna criticize me for, but hey, I enjoy this movie, all right? So number five for me is In the Army Now. This is a movie starring Pauly Shore. It came out in the 90s. Uh, I remember watching this before I joined the Army, and uh, I don't remember if I was interested in joining the Army at that time, I don't, I don't remember, but I remember watching it and just thinking it was this hilarious movie, right? Polly Shore kind of went downhill since then and everything, but, well, actually sometime later than that, but, uh, you know, this was one of his prime movies, you know, when he was, you know, a great actor, not great actor, I guess that's kind of a tough one to say too, but at least a, a you know, a hilarious actor, at least for that time. So it is pretty entertaining. Is it realistic? Hell no. It is far, far from being realistic, but it is hilarious. I remember uh, knowing some people when I was actually at Fort Carson, uh, when I was in one of my units and I knew some water purification people and I was like, hey, did you ever see In the Army Now? And I remember one guy was like, never even heard of the movie. I was like, what? This should be like your Bible. If you're in this MOS, this should be like your go-to movie, I feel like. I feel like this is like, you know, the representation of your MOS kind of in some way. Again, not to the T, but you know, it kind of is a you know a, a movie out there for that because I don't think there is any other movie that's out there that represents you know water purification. There was like a, a, a quote in that movie or a line in that movie that I would use all the time. We'd be deployed, we'd be in the field, and uh, I'd always you know if, if I didn't want to you know go do something or something that I was dreading going to do, I'd be like, "Is it hot in Chad? Is it hot in Chad?" That was always the line I like to use. You know, most people usually didn't get it and didn't know what the hell I was talking about and would just look at me funny. But occasionally, occasionally, there'd be someone that knew what I was talking about. Number four on my list is Three Kings. This is a movie with, uh, you know, George Clooney, had Mark Wahlberg, uh, Ice Cube was in it. Um, I think there was other people in it too that were like, you know, not as big back then, but are now or whatever. But it, it was a good one. I really enjoyed it. It was, you know, more on the realistic side-ish. It's not based on a true story, is it? I don't remember if it was or not. But the main reason why it really appeals to me is this was the very first movie I saw while I was in the Army. I was graduating from basic training in Fort Benning, Georgia, and my family wasn't going to come out to you know see me graduate, and I didn't really care if they did anyways. It was a long ways for them to have to travel. And I had some other friends that were in that same kind of boat where they didn't have any family coming out to see them either. So after graduation, we had some free time to be able to go, you know, have some fun. Me and my friends, we were in our class A uniform, the dress uniform at the time, and we went to the local town uh, outside of Fort Benning. Was it Columbus, Ohio, right? Or Columbus, Georgia? We went to the local mall. We, you know, ate some fast food. We, you know, walked around and everything like that. And we were like, hey, let's go see a movie. So. At that time, Three Kings was playing in the movie theater. This one, you know, is a great movie, right? They're in Iraq, they, you know, stumble across a map that, you know, is gonna lead them to all this gold bullion and they're gonna try to get it out and all these other crazy things start happening they get captured and all sorts of stuff, right? But in the long run, you know, it was, it was entertaining. There was some parts in there that I think I remember that were, you know, not realistic, but nonetheless, it was my first movie that I saw when I was in the army. It was an army movie. And, you know, it was kind of something kind of cool experience, right? I'm watching this in movie theaters. I now have a little bit of knowledge as to what the hell they're talking about when they use certain lingo, when I see some of their rank and everything like that. And it was always just kind of cool. It's like, I, I know what they're talking about, right? I wasn't lost in the sauce like I was maybe if I had watched this prior to the army. So it kind of always stuck to me. And it was kind of something that kind of meant something to me, you know, seeing this movie, first movie, you know, that I got to see being in the army and Three Kings always just kind of appealed to me because of that reason. Number three on my list is an amazing movie. This one is probably more along the lines of 
what some people may expect as far as great cinematic, you know, you know, storytelling and great actors and everything. And that is Saving Private Ryan. That movie, I remember seeing that one before I came in the army. So obviously I had no idea what they were talking about when it came to like certain terminology or whatever based on the army, but it was just an amazing story, right? You see what these people had to go through way back then and everything, especially like some of those opening scenes on the beach and everything. You're like, holy crap, I can't imagine being in that situation. And it seemed like it would be very, very scary. And it kind of like made you a little bit kind of worried as to what to expect from the army. I knew the army wasn't like that anymore, but still it kind of did give you a little bit of anxiety in some ways. But just the story in general, I mean, you have Tom Hanks, right? Tom Hanks is an amazing actor and everything like that. And other people, you know, in the movie too, but you know, he really kind of just really makes you just kind of appreciate, you know, the, the story and everything that's happening inside of it. And just the way it kind of all unfolds and everything. And then even some of like the special effects for back in those days were still amazing. It's not like your cheesy 90s type of movie. And so it's just an amazing story. Definitely a movie that I don't mind watching, you know, more than once, obviously. Moving on from there, number two, and this one was a tough one to watch, not because of personal experience, just because of how the story unfolds and just the realism of how you feel in that you know moment of watching that movie, and that is the movie The Outpost. This was a newer movie, and it's based on true events, right? The story of Cop Keating in Afghanistan, and I remember, you know, talking to someone that had actually, you know, lived through that kind of experience and hearing the stories from that. So remembering that individual telling me some of the stories, plus seeing a lot of this, you know, on the big screen kind of a thing, you know, you know, come into life, you know, as you're watching it, it was just kind of crazy. And you're like, man, I just can't imagine being in that situation, right? Because it's more of a modern day type of military movie. So you know, this happened while I was in the army and you're looking at the events and you're like, holy crap, that could have been me. Maybe, I mean, most of those people I think were infantry, I think it was there. So most likely I wouldn't be stationed there, but still, you know, nonetheless, it was around that same time frame of when I was in the military. So you're like, man, that's, that's wild and crazy to, to see these events. And, you know, you know what it's like to, you know, be in, you know, maybe somewhat that situation, not exactly that situation, but you know what it could be like, right? And you can't imagine, you know, if I was in that situation, would I be able to handle it as well as some of these guys were able to do? I mean, we have Medal of Honor recipients that came out of that whole event and everything in the real life situation. And just kind of seeing how it was kind of portrayed in the movie kind of gave me a little bit of anxiety. It definitely did to where you're like, you're like, holy crap, you're seeing some of these things play out and, you know, really appreciate, you know, the story of it. As a little bit stressful as it was for me to watch it, I enjoyed it. It was an amazing story. It really made you appreciate, you know, the people that had to really go through that in real life and appreciate, you know, uh, what they had to go through. But it is definitely a movie that I would watch again. I would watch it multiple times kind of a thing. I don't really mind seeing that multiple times because it's just such a great story to kind of see how that kind of plays out and how, you know, these individuals reacted to what was happening. But now it brings us to my number one pick, there's probably some people that are probably trying to predict what it possibly could be. Probably, probably not gonna guess it though. My number one pick is The Castle. Oops, I don't know what I was thinking. This movie is not called The Castle. I don't know why I said that, but the movie is called Sandcastle. It's a Netflix movie and it's called Sandcastle. I, I don't know what it is about this movie. I mean, it's not like an amazing actor individuals. I mean, the actors did fine, they did great. The story is just, I don't know. It, I think it may be because it hits more home with me as far as, you know, things that I had to do when I was in Iraq, when I was deployed of trying to support the local nationals and trying to help local villagers and trying to, you know, build them up and trying to fix things. They got jacked up or whatever. So, I appreciate it, right? It's about these infantry individuals though that have to fix this pipeline, right? There's a busted pipeline and it's not allowing the local villagers to be able to get fresh water. So they're struggling from that. So they step up and they try to fix the problem, kind of working with these engineers to try to get the pipeline back up and they run into all sorts of problems. And I think that's what mainly kind of resonates with me is that I've experienced not exactly that obviously situation, but other things where we're trying to help out local civilians with food, with water, with, you know, beds, with all sorts of things, right? And so I've experienced that and what it's like having to work with local villagers and trying to help them out and what that life is like. And then, you know, later, you know, coming back to, you know, maybe that same area and seeing things just get trashed because Taliban, enemy, whoever did not want them to, you know, accept that kind of stuff from the US military. 
And so it definitely kind of hits home with me. And for that reason, it's kind of just, is on more of my level, right? I obviously wasn't an infantry individual, so I don't know what it was like, you know, kicking in the doors and, you know, kicking the Taliban's ass or, you know, like the cop Keating thing or saving Private Ryan or any of that stuff. So this one, I think, you know, is more along the level of some of the things that I experienced in some ways, not everything in that movie, but in some ways. So I kind of, you know, feel like it's more of a movie almost for me in a way. The only thing that bugs the hell out of me about the whole movie, though, is that dang lieutenant. There's this lieutenant in the movie that works with, what is it, the sergeant major or something like that uh, from the unit. And those lieutenants like working like hand in hand with that sergeant major and just, you know, has this massive attitude and, you know, you know, wreaking his authority upon the soldiers as if he's somebody. He's a freaking lieutenant, all right? I mean, I'm not saying that lieutenants don't have any authority, but not at the same level that this guy makes it seem like he has. He's working with a sergeant major. Usually people working with sergeant majors like majors, lieutenant colonels, something along those lines. Not some lieutenant. Lieutenants are usually at the platoon level, maybe an XO at the company level or whatever kind of a thing. Not some guy working hand in hand with a sergeant major, given the kind of authority that this guy's given in this movie. It's the only thing that kind of drives me nuts, but he doesn't even have a big role in the movie. It's just here and there that he kind of pops in and you know, shows his face and starts yelling at people like he's somebody or whatever, but that's the only thing that really kind of bugs me sometimes. Other than that, the, the movie's amazing. I've seen the movie multiple times. It's a good, entertaining movie, and I love watching it. There is some close calls of other movies that, you know, probably could have been on this list, but, you know, didn't quite make the cut. It was kind of hard to compete against these five. These are definitely five movies that I really love watching. Like, another great one is, like, War Machine. War Machine is a great movie, a Netflix original, and that one was really good with Brad Pitt and everything. Uh, it's got a little bit of comedy kind of in there, and it still kind of has this kind of story that, you know, is just entertaining. And I, re I really like that movie, too. It's really close to being in top of my top five, but just didn't quite make it. I know some of you are thinking, well, what about like Black Hawk Down? Why isn't Black Hawk Down in my top five? Look, Black Hawk Down is, is a great movie. It's amazing and everything like that. It's just not one of those movies that I really want to watch multiple times, right? It is a great story. It's filmed really well, amazing actors, all of that stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's just not one of those movies that really just entertains me to the level that I want to watch it multiple times like I feel with these other five that I mentioned. Now, I know you guys probably have some of your favorites, right? What are your favorite movies? Army related, if they're just military in general, that's fine. I'd love to hear about from you guys what are some of the ones that are the top ones. Maybe there's some movies that I forgot about. They're like, oh man, that's right, that is a great movie. You know, and I maybe that one should have been in my top five or whatever the case is. So let me know down in the comment section. If you're, for whatever reason, you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have links down in the description box. A newer thing I'm going to be trying out is a mailing list. So there is a link to the mailing list down below for you to sign up for that to get like some links to Army News, some latest info about the channel, and all sorts of fun stuff that I'll probably be blasting out every now and then. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, I got these guys right here that I highly recommend. I love them. You know, I put a lot of effort into them probably, maybe. I don't know, maybe not this one. I don't really know. But you should check them out if you haven't seen them already. Links in the description box like I talked about. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Christopher Chaos. I'll see you next time. See ya.